Oh, my God. Sorry! Good lord, not another one. Who was it this time? Whittingsworth? Boggins, sir. Blast! Well, not, not your figure of speech. Idiots! You're trying my patience. Let me speak to someone who can get things done. Someone who will speak to me politely and will treat me with respect. The next voice I hear had better be courteous and pleasant, or I'd kill every last one of you stinking coppers! Sir, if you will, I would suggest Detective Inspector Hector. His people skills are ideal to ensure this situation be settled amicably. Hector? The obnoxious, troublemaking alcoholic? I'm sure he'd consider it a pleasure, sir. Lambert! Oh, don't make me go out there, sir. I told Philomena I'd make it home by six tonight, alive. <laughs> We need Hector. Where is he? Oh, right, sir. Uh, he's um, well, he's likely off solving one of the many violent and atrocious murders Clappers Rick is so famous for. Well, he's your partner. Find him and bring him down here to deal with this shamble swiftly. Hector, sir? You sure? Yes, for God's sake. Get me desk. Get me Hector. What the hell happened last night? Last I remember was doing a conga with a nun. Or was it a goat? No fat bird lying next to me this time. Good sign. Bit breezy in here. Oh, bleed now. Where'd me kicks go? Oh, Dame Helen Mirren. You'll always be the only woman for me. So that's where the last guy went. Crook who dug this must have been kicking himself. Leads right into the next cell. No way I can fit through there, but I do see something shiny. A spoon. Now all I need is some cake. Oh, that phone guaranteed some idiots on the other end. This mattress has left countless women filled with regret. Let's see if there's something useful under here. Well, that condom's huge. Uh, of course it is. It's mine. It's a special brand. Coach pokers. The ladies ask for them by name. Oh. That toilet hasn't worked in years. Doesn't stop me from using it, though. There's a paper clip down there. Could do as a makeshift lockpick if it wasn't covered in human waste. Hmm, could work as a net, but I'm not sticking me hand down there. Angry spouse whiskey, the aperitif of choice for the discerning lash. Not much left. I suppose I could carry it around and inhale the fumes all day. That leads to the rest of the station. Sue bleeding perb. Some half-wit comedians lock me in. Oh, I wish someone had shut that phone up. It's one of them cardboard TVs from Curry's. Doesn't work. This is where I keep my toothbrush. Brushing with beer gives my teeth that special sparkle. It's a grape. There's something in there. I need something to pry it off with. Almost busted a nail. That's done it. 
Right. Evil is afoot. Sometimes reading helps me sleep. Usually alcohol, but sometimes reading. My favourite articles from the Daily Depress. I could use this lace to hang myself. The only thing this net will catch is gonorrhea. Let's go fishing! Let's never speak of this again. Even the dumbest lockpicker knows to straighten the paperclip first. If you squint, it looks a little like a key. Can't anyone use a phone in this ruddy station? That did it. That way leads to reception. Glad to be out of here. Now I know how Mandela felt. Ah, maybe happy hour's been brought forward. Speak. Oh, oh, thank goodness, boss. I've been trying to reach you for ages. We've got a situation down at Nun's Itch. Some psycho's gone hostile on us. He's already topped 11 of our best negotiators. Oh, Christ, another bleeding nut job. It's not that Judith Fisher again, is it? I already told her domestic disputes do not always need to be settled with a sniper rifle. <laughs> no, no, it's not her. Oh, just get the car and get over here now, before this gets out of hand. Oh my God, we've just lost another one. Oh, I guess my mid-morning nap will have to wait. Right, step one, car. No, wait. Step one, trousers. Help! Someone! <laughs> Pedo's escaped from the cells! Yeah! Pedo! Pedo! Shut it, runt. I'm a bleeding detective inspector. I hate pigs. I liked you better when you was a pedo. Ah, F the policeman. I don't have time for this. The barbed wire does a lot for the decor in here. That's where they keep the keys. It's a key locker, and the keys are inside. What a paradox. That coffee's been on slow boil since I joined the force. It's strangely oxymoronic. They're mostly here to keep an eye on the employees. Police, I'll need to commandeer your trousers. <laughs> are you are you a pedo or something, mate? Perhaps I'll need to work on my own, no? Hey, run! What are you doing here? I stole something. You caught me, bruv. Charge me so I can clear off. Didn't I see you in here last week? Yeah, I'm still waiting to be charged. You can't rush justice. No, I mean, what are you doing here when everyone else has pissed off? Look, if I go home without getting charged, I'll be dissed off by my crew, yeah? Listen, kid, wise up. There's no future in crime. Gosh, Mr. Fanks, if I turn my life around, maybe I can be a fat, gutty pig like you. Everyone else has pissed off. Why haven't you? And trash my street cred? No way. Only two more asbos and I'm top of my crew. We give out asbos like complimentary mints round here, mate. You want real respect? Oh yeah, bruv? You got something better? Well, how about music piracy? How dare you? I buy all my music legit from iTunes, yeah? 
How about first degree murder? Yeah, that sounds interesting. Would I have to do like time, you know? Well, you'll be out in seven years if you behave. Oh, no, my crew will be dead in seven years. No deal. How about loitering? I am a teenager. I could loiter for Britain. How about indecent exposure? Oh, yeah. Indecent exposure, right? In the X, they call me. Nice tag. What do I have to do? Nothing. I just need some evidence from you to stick in any old unsolved case file. What kind of evidence? Your trousers. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Conviction should be airtight. My mum's sold my name into them. Oi! You're disrespecting my friends! Not a bad fit, ignoring the smell of urine. Get back here with my trousers, them's mine! Let that be a life lesson to you, you little crud. You want a free ride? Join the police. Oh, the smell of clappers reek. Oh wait, there's a dead cat in the gutter. Hey, sugar. Got the time? Sorry, darling. There's a hostage crisis underway. No time for a quickie. A quickie? I was actually asking about the time. Oh, uh, it's uh, 10.30, I think. Thanks, fat boy. Now, how about a quickie? Oh. The blue beacon of justice. We switch it off at six. I'm not sure exactly what country Slop Jeff is from, but does it really matter in her line of work? <coughs> I need to work on my pronunciation. Oh, lucky me. They left me with the clap heap. It's locked. They keep the keys in the lockbox in reception. Ah, it's Trampy Tim. How's life on the street, you smelly deadbeat loafer? I will I wouldn't be so bad if fuck up on you get us a drink or something, you know? Sorry, mate. I drank all my reserves at last night's party for one. Drink! I want a drink! Give us a drink! Your pain is my pain. There's a candelabra just like that in the station canteen. Nah, there's better stuff to nick in the evidence room. Well, well. Looks like someone's been doing a little clappers re window shopping. Ain't nothing that can't be fixed with a crowbar or a cherry bake wheel. Used to work in animation. Look where it got him. Hey, Trappy Tim, what's the word on the street? Hey, what's the word on the street? <laughs> Drink! <laughs> Drink, sir! <laughs> That's the word on the street. Gotta run. Don't leave town. Tally ho!